Hey, it's JD here. Today, I have a quick guide on how to do the Kari Kralik Judgment build using Sentencing Garvo. This build can do high damage to all enemy 3 times and kill pretty much all the normal monsters in the game without max boosting or shields breaking. First, you have to learn the Sentencing Garvo skill. Go to Timberane and challenge Judge NPC. He is very strong with strength level 10, so make sure you come prepared. If you are low level, and want to get the skill early, check out the link on the top right on how you can win any NPC fights, even when you are super low level. In this video though, I use last gaff skill to one shot the NPC. I personally think that it's the most cost effective skill to one shot all the NPCs. Let me know down in the comment if you'd like to see how to video on it. This is the equipment that I use for this build. In general, you need high physical attack and critical similar to other physical builds. However, there are 4 key items for this build to work. For weapon, you need to have battle tested blade and giant's club because of their equip effects to increase damage of physical skills. And for accessories, you need to have finisher's claws to increase your critical hit damage and Alfione's amulet to increase damage when your HP is low. I already have videos on how to get these items, so click on the link on the top right to check them out. I will also have a short clip at the end of the video on how to get Royal Guard's Helm and Protector's Shield. For the job, I use Kerlik because it can equip staffs and the judgmental look. You can also use Arms Master job to this build as well. For support skills, I use Boost Start to start the fight with one more BP. Someone strength for extra 50 on physical attack. Deal more damage to increase the damage cap to 99,999. And a step ahead to make sure Hikari can go first. For Hikari's setup, he needs to have his HP at 1. You can do this by go challenge strong NPC and lose the fight. For more damage, make sure you have Drone and Terminals in your party and fight at night to get their buffs and debuffs. The fight itself is going to be simple. Just boost the 2 BP you have and attack with Sentencing Gao to rain down your judgment. This is how you can get Protector's Shield. Go to Nameless Village Weapon Shop. Make sure to use Path Action to get information from the Beastling who is standing right in front of the shop for the item to be available for sale. You can also get Protector's Vestment from this shop as well for speed build. This is how you can get Royal Guard's Helm and Mail. Go to Timberane Weapon Shop. Make sure to use Path Action to get information from the soldier who is standing inside the shop at night for the items to be available for sale. Thanks for watching. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for more Octopath Tower 2 content.